Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the x coordinate of the centroid of a half right circular cone. And then in the next video, we're going to show you how to find the y coordinate of that same centroid. So, starting with the x coordinate, I've already drawn a small little slice right here. Again, it's a semi cone, it's a half cone. And so the volume would look like this, or the dv, that's that little slice, would look like this. And the dv is equal to, let's see here, what's the radius? Well, we could say that the height or the radius here could be y at the center. It would be one half, a full slice, that would be one half pi y squared times the thickness, and the thickness is a small little dx, so we need a dx here. Okay, that's a small little volume, that small little slice, it's half of a full slice, and a full slice would have the surface area pi y squared and a thickness dx. Notice that the length of the cone is h, the radius at the base of the cone is a. Now, to find the x-coordinate of the centroid, that is equal to the integral of the x-coordinate of the centroid of the small little slice, it's right here in between, that would be x right here, times the dv. And we divide that by the integral of the dv, and in this case, the denominator will be half the volume of a full right circular cone. And a full right circular cone has a has volume of one-third the base times the height. So we'll go ahead and plug that into the denominator. But for the numerator, we'll get the following. We get the integral, and again, the limits will be from 0 to h, from 0 to h, from 0 to h of x times dv, which is one-half pi y squared dx, and in the denominator we get one-half the volume of a full cone, which is one-third area of the base, which is pi a squared times the height h. Now we have a y squared and a dx in the numerator in that integral here. We need to get rid of that y squared. We somehow have to convert y in terms of x. We have to write y in terms of x. And what we can do is we can take the top line of the cone, because that is equal to a straight line, we can use the concept of the y equals mx plus b. And in this case, the m would be the rise over the run, that would be a over h, and b would be 0. So here we get y is equal to the rise, a over the run, h, times x plus 0. And we can substitute this quantity in for y in our integral right there. When we do that, we get the following. This is equal to the integral from 0 to h, we take the one, high, one half pi out, and we're left with an x times a y squared, and a y squared would be a squared over h squared times x squared times dx. In the denominator, we still have 1 sixth pi a squared h. Now notice that this pi will cancel out with that pi, and we'll worry about the 1 half and 1 sixth later. Well, actually, 1 half divided by 1 sixth, that's equal to 3, so we'll go ahead and plug that in on the next go around. The x coordinate of the centroid is equal to, so 1 half divided by 1 sixth becomes 3 times the integral. Oop, before I do that, I have an a squared divided by a, h squared. I can take that outside the integral sign. I can now take the integral from 0 to h. What do we have left? We have an x cubed dx in the numerator. And in the denominator, we still have the 1 6 is gone. We have an a squared times h. And then again, this a squared cancels out with that a squared. And the h squared can come to the denominator and make that h cubed. In the meanwhile, we can integrate the numerator. This is equal to 3 times x to the fourth over 4, evaluated from 0 to h, divided by h squared times h becomes h cubed in the denominator. We can bring the 4 down, and then x to the 4th, when we plug in the upper limit, we get h to the 4th. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 0, so we don't need to do that. So this is equal to 3h to the 4th divided by 4h cubed, which is equal to 3 fourths times h. And that would be the x-coordinate of the centroid of a half-right circle cone, which is the same as the x coordinate of a full right circle cone because there's a symmetry here in for the x coordinate in the x direction. Of course, that will not be the case for the y coordinate, and that will show you on the next video. But in the meanwhile, again, what we did here is found the slice. We found the x we found the x coordinate of the center of the small little slice, which is equal to x. That goes in here. 
the dv, we gave a half the area of the base times the height, and then we replace y squared by what y squared is equal to in terms of this equation, which is defined by the top ridge of that half circular cone. Now, for the next video, we'll go ahead and find the y coordinate of that very same centroid. So stay tuned for that if you're interested.